Hello everyone, welcome to this Thursday, November 3rd. I'm Sister Mary Elizabeth from the Seas of the Word community and I would like to welcome all of you. On this day, we celebrate St. Martin of Por the Porus. St. Martin the Porus was born in Lima in Peru of a Spanish father and a Negro mother in 1579. As a boy, he studied medicine which later, as a member of the Dominican order, he put to good use in helping the poor. He led a humble and disciplined life and was devoted to the Holy Eucharist. He died in 1639. St. Martin de Porres, pray for us. And first reading of this day, Philippians chapter 3, verses 3 to 8. Let's get started with the reading of the Word of God for today. My brothers and sisters, it is we who are the circumcision, who worship in the Spirit of God and boast in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh, even though I too have reason for confidence in the flesh. If anyone else has reason to be confident in the flesh, I have more circumcised on the eighth day, a member of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew born of Hebrews, as to the law, a Pharisee, as to zeal, a persecutor of the church, as to righteousness under the law, blameless. Yet, whatever gains I had, these I have come to regard as loss because of Christ. More than that, I regard everything as loss because of the surpassing value of knowing Christ, Jesus my Lord. For his sake, I have suffered the loss of all things, and I regard them as rubbish in order that I may gain Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. St. Paul is telling us here that if anyone has reasons, has motives to boast in who they are, he has more. Paul is saying, if you have reason to be confident in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day, a member of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, Hebrew born of e Hebrews, Pharisee, zealous persecu persecutor of the church, blameless. Paul was perfect in the Jewish faith. He was blameless, nothing to blame him, nothing to say that he was wrong. And he was full of zeal and his zeal made him a persecutor of the church. He was a zealous man, zealous for his faith, a persecutor of the church. But he regards everything as loss because of Christ. Paul did not count all he had as reason for him to boast. Let him say, if I have to boast, I will boast in Jesus Christ, in nothing else. I regard everything as loss because of the surpassing value, value of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For his sake, I have suffered the laws of all things, and I regard them as rubbish in order that I may gain Christ. Paul regarded things on earth rubbish in comparison of Christ. What a difference from this earth. So many people that regard things on this earth value, valuable, that they leave everything they can behind to have the wealth and the, the recognition of this earth. But Paul is saying everything is rubbish before Christ. When we see Christ, when we consider Christ, everything is rubbish. What are the things that you value the most on earth? Can you regard them as rubbish in comparison of Christ, in comparison with, of your faith, with your faith? Christ needs to be all for us. He needs to be everything to each one of us. Responsorial Psalm, Psalm 105, 105. 
Sing to the Lord, sing praises to Him, tell of His wonderful works, glory in His holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord and His strength, seek His presence continually. Remember the wonderful works He has done, His miracles and the judgments He uttered. O offspring of His servant Abraham, children of Jacob, His chosen ones, He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. And the Gospel is from St. Luke, chapter 15, verses 1 to 10. All the tax collectors and sinners were coming near to listen to Jesus, and the Pharisees and the scribes were grumbling and saying, This fellow welcomes sinners and eats with them. So Jesus told them, told them this parable. Which one of you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one that is lost until he finds it. When he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders and rejoices. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep that was lost. Just so I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who need no repentance or what woman having ten silver coins if she loses one of them does not light a lamp sweep the house and search carefully until she finds it when she has found it she can she calls together her friends and neighbors saying rejoice with me for i have found the coin that i had lost just so i tell you there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Pharisees were grumbling, saying, This fellow, Jesus, welcomes sinners and eats with them. Jesus welcomes sinners and eat with them. And Jesus said to them, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. In, not, in another gospel, he says, there is more joy in heaven for one sinner who repents than the 99 righteous that did not is spe nothing spectacular to be with God because they were righteous since, since forever. Jesus' mission is he came to save those who are lost. He came to save those who would never be able to honor God and worship God because they were, they were weak. Jesus came to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He came to those who were, those who were lost so he could bring them to, to our Lord God. May the Lord bless us today in a meditation of his sacred word. May we find what we have lost. What have we lost? Hope, joy. May the Lord help us to find what we have lost and see that there is more joy for a sinner who converts, for a little thing that you convert in your life than for everything that is correct. Sometimes we have sins that walk with us daily because we say oh no i'm not able to overcome it but there is more joy in heaven if you are able to overcome it than to huge sins that you do not commit you can make jesus happy if you can convert little sins small things to be in his presence to be a saint with him to be his friend. Amen.